Olá a todos do canal, sejam bem-vindos mais uma vez aqui ao canal. Hoje eu tenho uma legenda que eu fiz do físico Nassim Hayamei, que particularmente falando, é muito boa. Bom, vocês sabem que nesse canal tem 44 vídeos legendados e dublados do físico Nassim Hayamei, mas no vídeo de hoje eu tive o prazer de poder legendar um, o que talvez seja um dos melhores vídeos dele. Por quê? Porque é um vídeo acessível a todo mundo. É, a... Para quem não conhece o trabalho dele e para quem conhece, ele fala também de uma forma muito próxima e de uma forma simples, a qual todos podemos entender o seu conceito, tá bom? E, se você gostar do vídeo, deixe o like nele, que é muito importante para que outras pessoas vejam, caso você ache este conteúdo relevante, tá certo? Bom, é muito interessante mesmo, recomendo que você veja, vamos ao vídeo! Nassim, tell me a little bit about yourself, the work that you do, and a little bit about your background for the people watching. Uh, I'm an independent researcher that I've been doing uh, extensive research in advanced physics and philosophy and uh, ancient civilization, archaeology, and so on, in order to find a unified view of the physics of our world. How is all this came together in this incredible beautiful way like the settings we're in right now um, and how does it actually um, eventually generate consciousness and all this stuff but at the very fundamental physical level that is like using physical theory not just philosophy and mathematics so that actually we understand the mechanics and we're not just um, you know saying things like it's all one in a dogmatic way but we can actually prove and demonstrate that actually it is the way it is and these are the mechanics under which that happens so is this a new concept or is this a concept that you're bringing forward from the past through um, old uh, old revelations that have come from previous civilizations all spiritual um, traditions around the world pretty well talk about this concept of oneness and they might call it God or many different things uh, mana and all sorts of things but you know they all talked about the the fact that it's all unified and it and that there is like information that's moving through this field of unification and what's really exciting now is that science is starting to realize that that's really the case it's not just a philosophy it's not just a dogma but actually that's the way things work and i think that when uh, these masters talked about it the universe being one and all this they meant it that way they meant it for real that like even matter right. is not separate from each other like each point in space is not uh, completely isolated from the rest of the points in space but everything is actually talking we're starting to discover by for instance that that uh, entangled particles are connected through wormholes in the structure of space mm -hmm. and that black holes are connected through wormholes and like it's starting to come a, come out is of that, the physics is that what they consider the quantum foam is yeah is, is, yeah is, is that the, the the wormholes that you speak of is yeah that kind like, of what physics are talking about is quantum yeah foam? exactly that at the very very fine level at the very very small level these fluctuations of energy in the structure of space-time are making space-time curve to the point that there are little wormholes okay like very very fine like way below the atom so you mm -hmm. you don't know they're there mm -hmm. but they are connecting particles together yeah and making you know uh, the universe unified and that's I, I i find it fascinating when we spoke before in an interview about this feedback system mm -hmm. um you put out intent and then the universe will give you back what you what you need or what you want right yeah, so yeah. i just wanted you to expand on that a little bit about this feedback looping system that you're you're theorizing yeah so basically you know i've shown in my equation that the mass of the nuclei of atoms is the result of these fluctuations in space that you can think of as information and that uh, you can think of information going out of a, uh, out of a point and coming back into a point and so that there's constant feedback relationship with the environment so that mm. systems 
eventually self-organize in a very complex way because there's constant feedback that wouldn't happen on the random function mm -hmm. and so um and in fact the probabilities of our universe coming together or even our bio um, sphere coming together under run random function doesn't add up mm -hmm. you know in 13.7 billion years since the so-called big bang so like you know, it, it, the probabilities are so low, like extremely, extremely low. There's no way it could have happened mm -hmm. unless there's feedback, unless okay. it's learning about itself. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the wheel of karma that you find in some of the traditions, the concept that you're creating your reality, that whatever you put out, you get, you know, and all this stuff, are, you know, I believe, um, uh, concepts that people have like understood mm -hmm. from experiencing the universe right. that are actually now starting to come out in the physics meaning that like yeah it really is talking to itself and that's how it's learning and you're part of that mechanism mm -hmm. so whatever you put out will come back to you but it will come back modified meaning people think i create my reality that's common you hear that from spiritual people all the time but it's not just, that's only part of the feedback, right? Mm -hmm. There's a feed forward, I create my reality. And there's a feedback, reality creates me. Meaning like all the rest of the people, you know, are, are involved in creating your reality. Right, right. right? right. We're, on, we're not individually creating our reality. Otherwise, we would never meet. We'd all be in our own reality. Yeah. But we have a consensus reality. <laughs> right. Yeah. So then therefore, if, if there's this feedback looping mechanism and mm -hmm. the universe is growing and learning about itself mm -hmm. through us, I got two questions here. Is the universe then, in your mind, its own conscious sentient being is it is it alive through us or is it alive adjacent to us yeah that's a really good question and you know that's of course if if the feedback is the source of consciousness meaning that the reason why we're self-aware is because mm -hmm. there's feedback in the structure of space you can't really say at one point there is no feedback and at the other point there is, right? You can't, like, and, and that's a big problem in consciousness study. You can't say, oh, inanimate mod matter is not conscious. Not participating. You're not participate. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you got consciousness because yeah. Yeah. us being conscious is a bunch of minerals and water put together in a sack that's moving around that we call our body and that's conscious so mm. consciousness must be part of the whole thing or it's not there at all right right and right. so i think that you know the whole universe is conscious and it's expressing itself eventually with higher and higher level of complexity to eventually something that looks like us so, yeah. or it might look different on another planet but something that's able to move around that's able to look back at the universe and learn about itself so we have therefore we have we have a special place quote unquote special place by having the the senses that we have to look back on itself and some would argue you know like i'm looking at the beautiful lake here with the rocks mm -hmm. the trees around us yeah the, like i know that that rock if i run up to it and smack my toe on it mm -hmm. it's gonna affect me mm -hmm. right so it is participating in my reality even though from my perspective it's not i see it as an inanimate object that's right but that's just an egotistical frame of reference that i'm using that's right, right. we're gonna jump in the cold because water right you're thinking <laughs> that you're separate from the water from the rock and all this stuff but yeah. without the water without the rock you're not here i'm not going to feel any it, sensation yeah you're not going to have a body okay. if that all, all that stuff wasn't there supporting the evolution to eventually have a human being yep. that doesn't happen yep. right yep. so it's all connected yep. it's all talking it's all it's all like a support mechanism right. of learning you know of a universe that's learning about itself now is there anything in your current research or your past knowledge where uh talking about um predicting the future mm -hmm. so could could someone be sitting here today mm -hmm. and gain information from the universe to predict something that may happen in the future is there any sort of yeah. mechanism in that feedback system that yeah absolutely and not only that that means as well that 
the universe has memory because it's a con if it's a it's a if it's an evolution right there's memory and what is memory in the universe what is memory in physics memory in physics is time meaning that we wouldn't have time if we didn't have memory if you didn't if you right. didn't remember the minute before you wouldn't know that there is a continuous you know evolution of event right, right. so you wouldn't have a concept of time Bom, e nós vamos ver bem o conceito de tempo, por causa que a continuação deste vídeo ficará para um próximo vídeo. Por causa que o meu computador não conseguiu lidar com o resto do vídeo. É, ele é muito grande e tem a qualidade muito boa. Então, lotou meus 8 GB de RAM. E o máximo que eu consegui fazer sem travar foi até mais ou menos por aí. Tá bom, gente? Vai continuar no próximo vídeo. Então, se você é inscrito no canal, você vai receber ele logo logo. Eu espero que você tenha gostado. É realmente muito interessante e vai ficar cada vez mais interessante. Se inscreva no canal se você não é inscrito ainda. E a gente se encontra logo, logo. Até mais. Ah, hoje eu vou lá na Constelação Familiar. Vou mostrar tudo num vídeo pra vocês que vai estar no ar amanhã. Tá bom? Até mais. <música>